Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's Car Boots Health Hall video. I'm in the front room, change of location. I just recorded another video and I thought, well, while I'm sitting here with the camera, I'll do this one as well. So slight change of location today it means you get a lovely cameo of Molly in the background there. And I apologise for any weird background noise. It is blowing a hoolie outside. We have got um, some stuff on the tarp for covering the tarpaulin and the wind is blowing the tarpaulin and this is probably wasn't the best place to decide to do this, but here we are and we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, so where's my bag? I had a bag. I'm with bag. Okay, first up then, I'm going to show you the largest thing first so I can put it in the bag out of the way. I got this from a seller. I got a load of other stuff from them as well, but this was the largest item. So it is a 49 space thimble display wrap and it was two pounds and I would hope to be able to get 20 quid for that. So that was a nice pickup. Large, mind. Large, large, large. Luckily, Ant came with me today and I made use of his carrying propensities, abilities, whatever it is. Then I got, well not then, but also I got a stack of silicon, missed one, stack of silicon all from the same lady. This was two pounds, two pounds for, they smell of, I think they smell of cigarette smoke. They go through the washing, not washing machine. Um dishwasher so yeah two pound uh, i've got are they meant to be pumpkins or what? i don't know what they're meant to be i think they're pumpkins and some eggs and parts of a skeleton which you can when the light gets behind it you can see him but i don't think you can see him properly anyways parts of a skeleton don't know no cakes We've got a round one had a large heart shape well two pound for the lot on those they'll go on as a bundle I paid 50p each for these two mugs. This is a Homer, don't tell me what to do, I already know how to slack off. That's a Kinnerton one, which will have come with an Easter egg in it once. 2005, so 19 years old, that mug. How is 2005 nearly 20 years ago? How am I this old? And this one is a Diggs and Manor, uh, littledog.co.uk, Anna Danielle. And we've got this picture in the hallway. It says on it, you put the kettle on, I'll get the biscuits, and there's... A little dog there next to the kettle of the biscuit tin and we've got this in a picture in the hallway um, and i saw this and i thought oh look that looks familiar but this is to see. because one thing we definitely do not need is more mugs in this house jugs not the kind of jugs that andrea likes sadly a vintage 70s tupperware and jug sadly no lid if you find these with the lid they go for obviously more money they used to have a hinged lid so the lid would sit on and there'd be a hinge there and you could press it with your thumb to pop the lid open to pour but you very rarely see the lids anymore. Two jugs for 50p. So the other one is an OXO, good grips, 250ml measuring jug. And these um, go for eight or, eight or nine quid. So that was all right. I paid one pound each for three bits of jewellery. I can't remember what this stone is called. And it's just like a natural stone with a silver, a silver filigree design on there. It's not a silver chain. I've been peering at it, trying to see any markings, but it's not a silver chain. It's just silver tone. And it was in a box, but I'm fairly sure this is not the box that it really, really come in because the box says hot diamonds on it. So I'm sure that's just a box that it happened to be in. From the same lady, an abalone bracelet. Again, not, not on precious metals, as far as I'm aware anyway. Shall I peer at it a bit closer just in case it turns out to be silver? I'm sure it isn't, there's no markings, no. And I threw these in because she said all the jewellery was a pound each. And as I looked and I could see that the posts were gold as well as the earrings. However, I didn't want to stand there and peer at them too, obviously. And when I got them home, I'm fairly sure they are not gold. They are just gold tone. But it was the fact that the posts were gold made me think perhaps they would be precious metal. Because usually when the body of the earring is gold tone, the posts are just stainless steel. But I cannot see any markings on them and I am fairly sure... They are just trash. However, I've got a little bag of scrap gold. They're too heavy as well, I think. Got a little bag of scrap gold. So when I take that to be weighed in, I'll take these and get them to test them just in case. But 99.9% .9 sure they're not gold. From the same ladies' jewellery, I paid a pound for this. It is an oil squeezy bottle. So we have an oil sprayer, but I wanted one for olive oil. I was trying to do a recipe the other night that called for a light spritz of olive oil. And, and if your olive oil's in a bottle, you can't do that. So... That's what that's for. So that needs to go in the kitchen. I paid £2 for a fabulous curler. I'm not sure which one it is, but I think it's, I think it rotates. I'm not 100% sure. I might not. No, it would have a button if it rotated, wouldn't it? 
No, I think it's just a, just a standard curling tong, but it did have its heat mat with it. The heat mat's never been used, so the Velcro is brand new. Hook and loop. So yeah, £2 on that one. And I gave Steve a fiver today. I didn't do filler bag. I could not be arsed with a filler bag. It didn't look very inspiring. And so I didn't bother. But for a fiver from Steve, I got this little pile of stuff here. Which consists of two staplers for work because we break the staplers at work all the time. Somebody said to me when I put that in the video once, can you not just reorder? We can, but we um, also get a bonus if we stay within our targets for not ordering stock and whatever and since i can get two staplers for pennies at the car boot sale why would we waste our budget by stationery you know but it, it works out better for me to just get the bonus um a we're tired of chelsea mug and uh body shop strawberry body butter completely unused completely unused they're about 15 quid normally that's for me a vintage block puzzle. I remember having one of these when I was a kid. Um, now a block has six sides, just in case you're aware. So it's a cube puzzle and it has six sides, which means there are six pictures. And I've only got five pictures in the box. There's one stuck in front. Mind you, does the one on the front count? Maybe, ah, maybe I don't need the sixth one. Yes, there, there's the other four. And then there's the one inside the lid and the one outside the lid. So I have got all six. Box needs a slight repair. It's only about a tenner. They, they'll only go for about a tenner, but it was worth getting it in with a pile of other stuff. And all the blocks are there, which is obviously important. But yeah, I remember having one of those in the 70s. Don't know what make they are. There's no make on the box. But this one's Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. And a melamine tray, which is the Summer Chintz, I believe this is. I'm 99% sure it's Summer Chintz. It's the one that I always doubt myself on, but I'm pretty sure it's the Summer Chintz design from Johnson Brothers Cloverleaf Melamine Tray. So that all that was a fiver. And then in this box is the bit that made it worth going out today. This is all from one seller. It's the same seller that I bought the Inbo Display Rack from. And it is all Charles Rennie Macintosh. I love Charles Rennie Macintosh design stuff. If I had a nice house, and by a nice house, I mean the kind of house where you can have things on display and nobody breaks them and they don't get knocked over and you haven't got dogs running around and people aren't throwing tennis balls. And if I had a display house, I think I've spoken before on videos that one day when I'm very, very wealthy, haha, I'll have two houses next door to each other. One house will be my display house where all my lovely things are and it'll be spotless. It'll be kept absolutely spotless. And every now and again, I'll go and sit in there and admire my lovely things, but nobody else will be allowed in. It will literally be my display house. The next door will be the actual house that we actually live in with the dogs, which will look like this one does. And in my display house, I'll have a lot of Charles Murray Macintosh stuff. But in the meantime, while we're waiting, I will sell this stuff. This is a massive Hudson Middleton Scottish Rose Renny Macintosh style display bowl. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just, oh, I love it. Absolutely love that. So I paid this lady £12 for all of the Ray Macintosh stuff, an extra £2 on the, on the thimble rack afterwards. This one is also Hudson Middleton and it is a tea light holder. Look at the beautiful design. So this is the Ray Macintosh rose in lilac and then in the pink I've got a Hudson Middleton mug. Now there's a tiny, tiny chip in the rim scrap man going up the road now i don't know whether that tiny chip in the rim in fact there's another there's a couple of nibbles actually several nibbles out the rim of that that's annoying don't know if they were there when i bought it or not i will list it but i would have thought it's going to be a display piece rather than a drinking out of piece but it is still a lovely thing and then two ray mcintosh salt and pepper Four of the candles in three different designs. So it's a pair of taper candles, really Macintosh print. They originally sold at four ninety nine, apparently, from the Celebration Candle Company. So I've got two of this design and one each of these two. And then I've also got, remember when this was twelve quid for all of it? A really nice Rennie Macintosh vase. 
This is the Macintosh Collection by Board of Fine Arts. That's a bud vase. And a clock, a little standing clock. It takes a AA battery. Uh, is that AA up there? Put a new battery in it, see if it works. Battery packaging, fighting back and winning. Yep, I can hear it ticking. So there we go. So all of that, £12 a lot. I think that's a bargain. A bargain is a bargain and we got a real trilled. Let's say the only disappointing thing is the nibbles out of the edge of the mug. Like, that would be, I'd be able to sell it, but I'd have to declare those, obviously. But the bowl has no nibbles in it. The bowl's in lovely condition. Ditto candle holder. Really pleased with all of that for £12. I think they're absolutely lovely. I absolutely love a bit of Charles Rennie Macintosh. Thank you for joining me for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, if you've seen anything you like, the email address is in the description box. And I'll see you next week for another haul. Take care. Bye for now.